we begin in West Africa, where seven years of war against Boko Haram have left northeastern Nigeria in the grips of a malnutrition emergency. Bono State has taken the brunt of the violence. Some areas remain cut off from aid by fighting. Now, meanwhile, camps for people displaced by the conflict are overflowing in the state of uh, the state capital. Uh, for VOA reporter Chika Odua has the story from Maiduguri. Over two million people have fled here to the Borno state capital, Maiduguri. They have found relative safety, but little else. Thousands are living in shanty settlements. Women cook in abandoned fields. Some stay in uncompleted buildings. Children play in junkyards. Families live under trees. Boko Haram, they are like a lion in the forest. They have been killing and collecting our valuables. They have destroyed our houses. There is nothing left. Maka Mustafa lives in this shed with a few dozen other families. He says he was turned away from official IDP camps. We don't know the reason why, but the distributors in the camps do not distribute food to everyone. Some will get, some will not. A local NGO official told VOA there are as many displaced people now living outside the camps as there are inside. More than 13,000 people live in this open field. Zara Abba fled here after Boko Haram abducted her first son. She's been in this field for the past three months with her granddaughters. I have not seen a single government official that comes to assist us. And right now we are not even feeling fine. And these locally made tents you are seeing, we bought them ourselves. We are even weak. We are sick. Aid agencies are warning of a possible famine in parts of Borno State, still cut off by insecurity. Here in the state capital, shortages have driven up the prices of staples like tomatoes, bread, sweet potatoes, and rice. And it's the IDPs who live on their own, outside of the official camps, who are the most vulnerable. Some are surviving on leaves they gather from the fields. The worst off end up in this health center. These cases are malnourished children that come with respiratory distress that needs O2 therapy, that needs blood transfusion, that are very, very sick. Common cases are from disease, uh, problems like coming down with measles, pooping cough, they become malnourished because they do not eat and they are not adequately fed. And there's no food. Some help is slowly coming. Children gather to wait for a food delivery truck from a local charity. They sing happy songs from happier times. Chika Odua for VOA News, Meduguri, Nigeria.